All right, everyone, I recently got a WeBoost Drive Reach, which is a cell signal booster, which boosts um, LTE and 5G signal um, whenever the signal is weak. And instead of installing it on, a, uh, um, on my truck, I decided to install it inside this Pelican box, which is um, waterproof and allows the unit to be completely um, portable. And the main reason why I wanted it portable is because we do multiple types of camping, um, including truck camping, RVing, and this coming weekend will also be van lifing. So I wanted the unit to be portable so I can take it with me however we uh, camp. And as you can see, um, it's completely self-sustaining. It has its own onboard power, um, a 12 amp lithium battery. The uh, 12 amp lithium battery should run the unit for about 12 hours or so. Um, I tested the WeBoost on my uh, Gold Zero and it looks like it pulls about 8 watt when it's on, which is um, not very much at all. So the 12 amps of power that's on the box should run the unit for, for at least um, a full weekend of camping. And as you can see, everything is um, semi-permanently installed inside the box um, with primarily um, Velcro here. Okay, even the unit itself is just Velcro down to the um, plate that I installed here. There's um, two cigarette lighter ports. Uh, one powers the unit. The other one is spare power for charging phones or whatnot. The um, external antenna here just sits uh, inside and I created a little groove just to, and um, some felt uh, padding there for storage. And the internal antenna uh, mounts on the uh, plate or on the lid. And um, so when I want to use the unit, I simply would just turn on the uh, WeBoost uh, with the um, power cable here. Um, the um, included power cable has its own power button, which is one of the main reasons why I um, didn't splice into the cable and just uh, hardwire the power to the battery. Um, this, this button allows me to turn it on and off, um, which is nice. The extra antenna here is just um, just sits loose inside the box and whenever um, we need to use it we would just um, plug it in, run this um, somewhere away from the box um, and maybe in a place that's a little bit higher in elevation uh, on top of the truck um, or something along that line. Um, so we'll be using this in the next few weeks to see how well it works. Um, one other thing I intend to do before we go on our first trip is to um, add a, an aluminum plate to the inside of the box here. And the uh, reason why I want to do that is because um, I wanted to separate the internal antenna from the external antenna so that their signals don't interfere with each other. Um, those are one of the issues that um, I was told the unit has is the two antennas have to be separated from each other. Otherwise, they'll repeat each other's signal and cause issues. So, so I'll give that a shot. Um, I'll provide another um, update um, in a few months or so to let everyone know how well this works. If it doesn't work, um, you know, I'll try to make to um, a few modifications to see if I can correct any issues. If not, I'll, I'll just install the unit in my truck like everyone else does. So. Check back in a few months or so, and uh, I'll let you guys know how well it works.